I'm running for office because we need real leadership to help our people here in the 50th district. We haven't had a, a lack of leadership for many, many years. You're going to see some really independent things come out of my campaign that's not like typical politicians. My three main issues that I'm going to work on on my campaign are jobs. People need jobs, good paying jobs in our communities. Um, housing, we've got a lot of foreclosures and we need to um, get the market stabilized. We have a lot of foreclosures and people are losing their homes and health care. Those are three main issues that are very, very important and obviously when they're losing their jobs, they're losing their health care benefits too and it's harder and harder to um, pay the co-pays and, and uh, the premiums. Um, the concept is this, you stimulate the economy from the ground up. It's not trickle down economy. So when working people work, then they can pay taxes and then they also can go out to restaurants and they spend money so they can support small business owners and then they can buy advertising for newspapers and people don't go out of business. So it, 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 it goes into the stream of commerce and I think that um, the more jobs and the stronger we can make our economy, the stronger we can make America. I've been practicing law for 20 years. I've researched and written over 300 writs and appeals. I've argued up in the California Supreme Court. So when I go to Congress, I can sit on the Judiciary Committee. I can help write laws. And I don't think that either Francine Busby or Dave Roberts have that um, education uh, to be able to do that. And it's very important to be able to understand the laws and how policies affect everybody. Now when I go to Congress, somebody's going to hear from me. If somebody writes me or picks up the phone to call, I don't care who they are, what party they're registered in, I'm going to communicate with them or my staff's going to communicate with them because I do care. In our district, um, they're issue-based voters. Again, there's a lot of declined states. I'm going to get there because people like the candidate. I'm going to get there because I can build coalitions, and I'm going to build coalitions whether it's with veterans and seniors and Latinos and, you know, labor. That's how we get, that's how we're going to um, defeat Brian Bilbray is, is through building coalitions. And I think coalition building is how you have to get the job done in Congress. I was a young single mom with three children back in the 70s and I went and I spoke before the city council and Lorraine uh, was the, the mayor, the first woman mayor, and she saw me speak and she went up to Sacramento and she got the funding to start Escanilla Community Child Development Center back in 1976. And she interviewed me down in the basement of a church and she says, Tracy, are you, sh and I really wanted to go to school. I wanted that that child care because otherwise I would have been stuck in poverty. Mm -hmm. And she says, Tracy, are you really sure you're going to do something with your life? And I said, yes, I promise you, Lorraine, I'm going to finish school. I promise you. And so she gave me three slots out of 24 slots, which was a lot. And she let, gave me that break. And so she's, she's just always been there for me. She's the first person when I told her the day after the election, I said, I'm going to run for office because somebody needs to be able to take down Brian Bilbray. And she said, are you sure you want to do that? And I said, yeah, Lorraine, I'm going to do that. And she just has in inspired me. She's always always been by my side and helped me. We, we definitely need more women leaders in there in Congress, I think. And I'm, I can tell you one thing because, you know, the book, Men Are From Mars and Women Are From Venus, <laughs> we, we just... Women, for instance, you know, just you know, raising this large family, going to school, we would always multitask. We'd be able to uh, do many things. When people say that it can't be done, we would, you know, we would work a full job and also, you know, come home and do all the the housework and then take care of the kids. And I think we have a we have a nurturing ability, um, and and I think that that's important to bring to our society.